Okay, now we're going to uh, uh, demonstrate a couple of the uh, uh, bunkai of the techniques from this kata. There are many applications like there are in any kata. And when this kata was devised, it was a fighting kata, not an exercise. So it's not a dynamic tension exercise, even though it kind of became that uh, as it was introduced to the Okinawan school system. But it was designed to uh, have close quarters uh, application, and so we're going to kind of work on a couple of those for you today. Uh, first, the opening of the kata, the uh, rei and yoi, okay, we're bowing in a ready position, are pretty much the same for most of our katas. So we're going to work those just a little bit. They'll be the same for each kata. Here. So at the beginning here, we got uh, a double hand grab, like so. And this is going to be the bowing and then the coming up with the hands crossed like so. So I'm catching his hand like so. Like that. And notice my hands are in pretty much the same position as they are at the end of the bow. And then the yoi, the ready position. This is very simple, but they don't have to be complicated. So here, just... Now, I'm kicking. There's no kick in the beginning, but the kick is in your head. So, yes, it is in there. Then, the beginning of the kata starts uh, with a move like so. Kind of an hourglass figure like that, with the hands like here. Okay, so if he's grabbing again, okay, he's got a nice strong grip, so I have a hard time with it. I want to loosen him a little bit, so I'm going to hit his thumb against the top part of his hand to loosen it. Here, now from here, I can do anything I want to. He's just wide open, hands are apart. Uh, the foot position can also be achieved without taking a step by strictly twisting the foot, one of the feet out at an angle. And that puts you in a sanction daichi with your body angled against the person in front of you. So you have like a taisabaki or, or a body shift at the same time. So if Keith is uh, punching here, boom, instead of just standing there trying to block, okay, I'm pivoting, okay, and that's the opening uh, block motion of the kata. But then look at the extension I've got on my hand. So if you tack in here, you have extension and timing, timing being uh, what can be called husband and wife hands blocking hand and the attacking hand moving simultaneously. Okay? <clears throat> if, for example, uh, he is uh, punching with the right hand again, okay, the opening move here, okay, and you can also counter with the opening hand here, so the hand moves back and forth, there's this boom, boom, very quick like that, hard to counterattack, but if he comes with the other hand, same thing, block here and back, yeah. like so. If, for example, he has a double appeal grab, I can use the blocking motion here by circling here, catching the arm, moving it to the side, and using an upper cup type punch against uh, his ribs and the exposed area there. Uh, the kata is named being three battles. You have basically three sections of this kata, even though all of them are short. So there's many other things you can do with these opening punches and counters like so. Uh, but then you start moving in the direction where you're moving, like here, like gouging and pulling, like so. Uh, if he is using a lapel grab, I can use the opening motion, the gouging motion, to reach up under his tricep and squeezing. So, and moving. If he is uh, grabbing like a bear hug, I can use the gouging part to attack his ribs and move him away. Uh, if he's grabbing my arms from the rear, okay, I can use the gouging motion to get a release. And then I just counter it. Of course, this is not technically a kata, but anything you can do, okay, this is supposed to be a functional kata to help you in self-defense situations, you can do it, okay? Uh, again, many applications of this technique also. Uh, 
but we're going to move on to these here. Okay, uh, I always thought this is a very curious way to have the hands crossed and pulling away, circling all that. But really, you come up with a nice function. It's here, and I have heard someone say this. This may be the only one that, way anyone will ever grab you is this way because your hands be at the fight. If you do that, you start exactly in the kata here, pull down as in the kata. Then your circle freeze your hand. Then you strike to the face, to the side, towards the jaw here. Also at the same time. The same thing again, cross here. This time I'm going to cross with this hand underneath here. So I'm here. Like so. If, on the other hand, he decides to kick you uh, with a round kick, here. I do the crossing is here, push, block, and then catch here. Then you're here and you can put him down on the ground.